morning guys, this is Valerie from Victory Yoga and today we're going to go into a flow that's going to work on our upper body, uh, the strain but also flexibility, trying to release a bit of stress and tension and build strain towards working towards our forearm stand. Um, so let's start in a sitting position. Uh, you might want to either sit cross leg if you have a block of a, or a blanket you want to put under your sitting bone to be more comfortable and elevate your hips, feel free to do so. And then just making sure your back is upright and take a deep breath in, bring your arms, uh, your shoulders up towards the sky and as you exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. From here, feel free to close your eyes and we start taking deep breath in, bring the shoulders up and exhale, roll back and down. And last round, deep breath in. And exhale, release. Now from here, we are going to allow ourselves to drop into the moment by shifting all our awareness to our breath. Not trying to force anything, but just noticing how your breath feels today. Noticing the texture, the rhythm, the speed, the depth. There's no right or wrong here. We're just trying to be more present. Trying to drop away from the mind and just more into the present. So if for any reason your mind starts to wander, thinking about anything else but being here in the moment, just gently acknowledge that thought and then letting go and releasing. We've got another two deep breaths here. Start lengthening your breath as you inhale. Filling your belly, your lungs, expanding your rib cage, and slowly exhale. And last round, deep breath in and releasing. Bringing both our hands into a prayer position in front of our heart center. And if you'd like to set an intention for today's practice, now is a good time to do it. Maybe something you'd like to attract into your life, something you need to let go. Or maybe just something you want to put out there into the world. An emotion, a feeling, or an action. And gently releasing your palms onto your knees and opening the eyes. We're going to extend our legs in front of us to start today. Flexing our feet, making sure your back is upright. We're going to bend the right foot and bring the foot in the inside of your left thigh. As we inhale, we're going to bring both arms up towards the sky. Extend your spine and as we exhale, we're folding forward, gentle fall forward, not forcing anything. You may be grabbing the outside of your leg or your foot and just really slowly releasing down. Inhaling, we lengthen the spine. As we exhale, we release a little bit more. One more breath here. We might have a drishy uh, gaze toward our big toe here. And coming back up with the inhale, hands goes as high as possible. As we exhale, we're twisting towards the knee that is bent. Bring the hand in the outside of your knee, on top of your knee, and twist and gaze over your shoulder, gazing back. Mm, take a deep breath in, maybe lengthen your spine a little bit more. Exhale, twisting a little bit deeper. Coming back up with the inhale, hands up. We're going to go towards the other side. This time the hand goes on the outside of your extended leg and gazing back. And again, we want to have minimal weight in the hands behind us. 
and try to lengthen from the top of the crown. Inhaling, going up. And exhale, release your left hand behind your sitting bones that the leg that is extended. Bring both feet flat on the floor. Press into your feet to lift your hips high and reach that hand back towards the back of the room, finding a wild thing. Extending, reaching the fingertips back, lift your hips a bit higher. And slowly releasing down onto the floor. Relax, maybe release the legs, shake them a little bit, maybe move your knees left and right. We're going to go towards the other side. So this time we're going to extend the right leg and bring the right foot in the inside of your thigh. When you're ready, inhaling, extending your arm. And as we exhale, we're finding our fall forward. Take a few deep breaths in here. And again, same principle. As we inhale, we're trying to lengthen the spine. And as we exhale, we're trying to release a little bit more. Inhale in, lengthen. And relax. Not forcing it too much. We're only starting here, so take it easy. Coming back up with the inhale, lift the hands up. We're finding a twist towards the leg that is bent, so towards your left side. And bring the hand on the outside of your knee and gaze over your left shoulder. Take a few deep breaths. Make sure that the legs extended, the foot is flexed, so toes are towards you. And next breath in, coming up, hands up. And again, we're twisting towards the side that the leg is extended and gazing back. Keep your back upright. Beautiful. And hands up with the next inhale. Bring your right hand behind your sitting bone that the leg that is extended, both feet flat on the floor, press into your feet, into your hand to lift your hips high into your wild thing. Bring your hips as high as possible and press that shoulder away from your ears, from the floor and reaching back. One more breath. And releasing all the way down to the floor. Beautiful. Releasing heat now into a kneeling position. Now, if you have tight hips or knees, or your knees are a bit painful, you might want to sit on the blanket or bolster or maybe even cross legs. We're going to go into our eagle arms. So bring the hands up as you inhale. As you exhale, bring one hand on one arm under the other one. Doesn't matter which one. We're going to go towards the other side. Interlock your arms and maybe bringing your palms facing each other. So finding the eagle arms here. Now you can either stay here if you'd like. You might want to start bring the elbows a bit higher towards the sky and maybe bring the hands away from your forehead and that will deepen the stretch in the back of your shoulder blades, your shoulders and maybe your arms. Now if you cannot have the palms facing each other, that's fine. We just want to have kind of the arms interlock. Now when you do that, can you lift a bit higher? Make sure that you're not popping in the rib cage, that you're not opening your chest. So try to bring your rib cage in and activating your core. Releasing the hands, go up. And we go towards the other side straight away. So bring the other arm underneath, interlock your arms, palm facing each other. Activating your core, lengthen your lower back, maybe lift the elbows a bit higher and bring the hands away from your face. And breathe. And every exhale, see if you can deepen the stretch or slow down your exhale to relax and release. And slowly letting go, hands up. And find your alpha from here. Maybe before you might want to shake your shoulders a little bit or your arms to let go of any tension. And find your alpha. Hands up our shoulder with distance and knees up our hips distance apart. And then as we inhale, we're going to drop the belly down, open our chest, gaze up towards the sky into our cow. And as we exhale, we're rotating our pelvic navel towards your spine, shoulder blades towards the sky and chin to chest. Finding our cat and keep breathing here into your cats and cow at your own pace. Just bring your slow movements here. Can you try to slow down your movement? Go a bit slower and in control and slow down your breath. 
Keep breathing through the nose, really important. You're gonna do one more of each. And release into your last cat. Press the shoulder blades towards the sky and come back to your neutral spine. Finding a thread the needle here. As we inhale, we're gonna raise the right arm up towards the sky, open the chest and gaze up. Now you might wanna either stay here. If you'd like, you might bend your elbow, bring your hand behind your back and maybe grabbing the top of your thigh. Keep opening the chest, gazing up. One more breath. And releasing the hand up into the sky with the inhale, treading the needle. So bring the hands under your armpit, palm facing towards the sky and relax your side of your head and your shoulder onto the floor. Keep the bum high, curve your lower back sitting bones towards the sky and relax here. Now, if you want to, you might want to raise your left arm up towards the sky. Maybe bend the elbow and bring your hand behind your back and grabbing the top of your other thigh. Now, this is just an option. You do not have to do it. You can decide which variation you prefer. And one more breath. And slowly, we're going to raise the hand that is behind our back towards the sky. As we exhale, place it in front of your face on the floor. Inhale, press into the left hand to lift the right arm back up towards the sky. And we're going to thread the needle one more time. This time, we're not going to release onto the floor. We're going to come as close as possible to the floor with our shoulder and our head and extend the fingertips towards the left side of your mat, but do not drop onto the floor. Inhaling, going back up. Pressing up, we do one more time, the same thing, coming as close as possible, activate the fingers, and really come hovering close to the floor, last round, going up, and releasing onto the floor, well done guys, we're going to go straight towards the other side, lifting the left arm up with the inhale, gaze up, if you wish to bend the elbow, bring the hand behind the back, find your bind, if you do not wish, that's totally fine. Just keeping the arm extended is also a really good stretch into the shoulder and the, and, the, and the torso. Bring the hand back up towards the sky. As you exhale, thread the needle. Bring the hand under your armpit. Relax everything on the floor for the first round. Soaking the shoulders, the arm, the head. As we inhale, maybe the other arm goes up, bending the elbow and finding your bind on the other side. Mm, one more breath. And then we release the bind, hand in front of your face onto the floor, press into that hand to lift. Your left arm back up towards the sky and we're going to thread the needle twice. So bring the hand really close to the floor but not dropping onto the floor. Keep the abs engaged, lifting back up. Slow movement, the slower the better, the more in control we can be and the more beneficial it is for us. Last round of threading the needle. And back up. Beautiful, and release the hand down back into your R4. Now, if you wish to maybe move your shoulders a little bit to release, and then we find our first downward dog of the day. So spread your fingers wide onto the floor, tuck your toes, and lift your sitting bones towards the sky. First downward dog of the day, you might want to bend your knees a little bit more to help you extend your spine. Try to bring your sitting bones towards the sky as well as bring your rib lower rib cage in to make sure we're not popping the rib cage open. Now from here, can you slowly start extending the heels down, keeping the spine long? We're trying to bring the heels towards the floor. And that's fine if you're not touching yet. That's totally fine. Just feeling the nice stretch, maybe in your calf, your hamstring, maybe your lower back. One more breath in here. As we exhale, we start walking our feet towards our hands, little step at a time. Maybe keep the legs extended. Take little step 
to find a fall forward at the front of our mat. And then we release here, feel free to bend the knees if you want to. Maybe you want to interlock the outside of your elbow and rock from left to right. Maybe you want to bounce a little bit up and down. And just noticing how, how it feels this morning. How your body feels. Now releasing the hands onto the floor, halfway lift with the inhale, extend your spine, roll the shoulders towards the sky and relax. And again, halfway lift, extend, release. And the last one of halfway lift, if you want to invite you to bring your fingertips towards the front, arms on each side of your ears, activating your core, hold it here and then release, fall forward. Make your way to standing, extend slowly, unrolling your back, and then coming to standing, hands up, palms together, gazing up, and find your Uttanasana fall forward as we exhale. Start moving to a Surya Namaskara, a halfway lift with the inhale. Plant your palms, step back into your plank. Holding the plank for a few breaths here. So today we're going to be working on the shoulders, as I said, upper body. Also a little bit of core that is always engaged when we work on the shoulders almost. So we're going to try to start building some strength. And um, if that is too much at any time, you can always find a rest um, in plank. If you want to, you might want to drop your knees down if that is too much. If you're happy, you hold it here for one more breath. And then we're going to rock forward, drop the knees if you want to. If, I, if not, find your chaturanga all the way down to the floor. Relax your forehead down. Untuck your toes. Inhale into your baby cobra. Roll your shoulders back. Lift your chest up. Release the hands off the mat and squeeze the elbows behind. Hold here. Take a deep breath in. And relax down. Forehead down. Bring the fingertips wider than your mat onto the floor, elbows high. Inhaling, press into the fingertips, lift your chest up. As you exhale, find your right shoulder towards the floor as you gaze back towards your heel under your armpit. Inhaling, pressing back into your fingertips and going towards the other side. So reaching the other shoulder down and inhaling up. One more on each side. And back up. And down. Coming back towards the center, lifting up. As we exhale, release down. Maybe release your hands, maybe shake you, move your fingers a bit to release the pressure. Hands on each side of your rib cage. If you're ready for your upward dog, press into your hands, lift your chest up, hips off the floor, find your upward dog. If you want to come into your baby cobra, it's still um, an option. Opening the chest and find your downward dog, lifting the hips high. Take a few deep breaths into your downward dog. Now for that downward dog, we're going to bend our knees, look between our hands, step towards the front of your mat, two big steps, halfway lift, extend your spine, release down with the exhale, one more halfway lift, bring the fingertips towards the front, as we exhale, we release down and make our way back to standing, inhaling, hands up, and we find a second round of Surya Namaskara, so sun salutation A, halfway lift, Plant your palms, step or jump or float back into your plank in Chaturanga. Upward dog with the inhale, downward dog with the exhale. Now taking our time here to move to your vinyasa, we're always going to have a bit of time to, to catch up here. So if you're jumping, obviously it's a bit faster. Uh, but if you are stepping back, we're always going to wait for you here. So take another deep breath in here. As you exhale, bend your knees, look between your hands, step or jump towards the front again. Halfway lift, release down. Come all the way back up. We move to one last round of sun salutation, slightly faster. 
Four, four, one. Halfway lift. Plant your palms. Step or jump or float back. Upward dog. And downward dog. And using your Ujjayi breath here, if you want to, if you are used to it, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, contracting the back of your throat. And then we're trying to use your Ujjayi breath to create some energy, some heat in our body, energizing our body for the practice. Next, exhale, bend your knees, look between your hands, step, jump and float towards the front. Half we lift with the inhale, release down. And last round, coming all the way up, hands up. And Sama City, hands in front of your heart center. Open your feet up by hips width distance. Hands on each side of your body. And close your eyes, palm facing forward. And just taking a few deep breaths here to allow our body to ground, to allow our body to soak in what just happened and just recenter. Notice how your breath feels, notice how your body feels, your joints, your muscle. Perhaps remembering your intention Opening the eyes, guy, coming back from relaxation, we're going to start moving through our flow. So find the front of your mat, big toes touching, so we can have a little gap between the heels if you want to. We're finding our chair pose to start with, so inhaling, bend your knees, sit back into your chair pose, bring the fingertips towards the sky. Can you bring your pinky in and sit a little bit lower into your chair, squeeze the knee in. Can you try to bring your rib cage in to lengthen the lower back? Now, because we're working with the shoulders today, you might want to bring your palms together. You already will start feeling it into your shoulder, your arms, maybe gazing towards your thumb. Can you bring the hands a bit further high, further back? Press the palms together, elbows completely extended, so no elbows bend. And then we sit back a little bit more into our chair as we smile more. Yes, we love chair pose. And slowly releasing down. Halfway lift with the inhale, moving to our flow. Plant your palms, stepping back or jumping back into our chaturanga. Lower yourself. Upward dog. And downward dog. As we inhale, we're going to raise the right leg up towards the sky. Tag your curl in, bring your forehead and your knees together, touching and going back up. Right leg is going to touch your right elbow. Now from here, can you bring your knee a bit higher towards your armpit and going back up. And right knee towards your left elbow. Slow movement, in control, going back up. Try to get dog and lower yourself down to your downward dog. Straight away, going towards the other side, left leg up, tag your curl in once, forehead and knee together, and going back up, left knee to left elbow, and going a bit higher towards the armpit, and up, left knee to right elbow, and back up, and find your downward dog. Beautiful, trying to work on our core, trying to start building some heat into our body. Now from here, we're going to make our way to our plank pose. And we're going to roll onto the outside of your right foot to find our side plank, lifting the left arm up towards the sky. Now your option, if you want to go into a supported plank, you might want to drop one knee down onto the floor. Now if you're happy to stay into that plank or you want to take any other variation by either lifting one leg up, bringing maybe the foot into the inside of your thigh, or even grabbing your big toes. So whichever variation you are in, what are we going to be doing next? If we're going to bring the top foot towards the right hand on the floor. If you can, without dropping the left hand. If not, you can drop the left hand onto the floor. If you want, you might want to even grab your big toe and slowly dropping that foot down onto the floor. 
in control. Ground your feet, find your runner's lunge, fingertips onto the floor, extend your spine. Take one deep breath in here. Ground both of your feet. We're finding our crescent lunge. Press into the front foot to lift your arms up towards the sky. Lift your heart as if someone was pulling your heart towards the sky. Roll the shoulders back, maybe gaze up. Keep the legs active, maybe a little bend in the back. You need to support and engage your lower back and open into your warrior two. Land into your warrior two, shoulders rolled back and away from your ears. Flip the front palm, reverse the wire. As you exhale, cut with your hands down on each side of your left foot. Left leg's gonna go back up towards the sky and find your vinyasa, find your plank, a tree led plank, lower down your chaturanga. Upward dog with the inhale and downward dog. Great job, guys. Take a few deep breaths here, catch your breath, and we're going to go in two breaths towards the other side. So I'm just going to change here so you guys, so I'm facing you guys, but you guys stay the same way. When you're ready, roll towards the outside of your left foot. Find the same variation we did on the other side for side plank. If you had your knee down into support to plank, that's totally fine. If not, stay into your side plank. If you had one leg up, or grab your toe. We stay here for one more breath. And then find your runner's lunge by dropping the foot down onto the floor. Extending your back leg, fingertips on the floor, expand your spine, top of the crown towards the front. When you're ready, lift up into your crescent lunge. In control, lift your heart up, little arch of the upper body. Take one more breath. And as we exhale, warrior two. Have a quick look down. Can you see your right big toes? If not, rotate the knee out to create some space into the front of your right groin. Lift your front palm, your right palm towards the sky. Reverse the wire and cart with your hands down. Right leg goes back. We're moving to our vinyasa. Or come straight into your downward dog. Chaturanga. Upward dog, and we made it into Adho Mukashvanasana, downward dog. Take a few deep breaths here. Actually, we're going to take a cleansing breath together. Take a deep breath in through your nose. As you exhale, open your mouth, letting go. One more time, deep breath in. And release. Now you can either stay into your downward dog. If you want to take a quick child pose here to release, drop your knees down, untuck your toes, and relax your forehead down onto the floor. Child pose. We've got five deep breaths here to allowing ourselves to relax and release. If you want to stretch your arms, your shoulders, you might want to bring your hands in prayer position behind your back. Now again, feel free to stay into your downward dog to, to, throughout this um, next couple of uh, breaths. Now from here, we make our way slowly towards the front of our mat, finding our downward dog, tuck your toes, lift your hips high. Take one deep breath in here. As you exhale, bend your knees, look between your hands, stop, jump off a hop towards the front of your mat. Half relief with the inhale, release down with the exhale. Coming all the way up to standing, hands up. And find your samasiti, hands in front of your heart. We're going to move to our second round of flow. So we're going to go kind of the same flow with small, some small variation. So when you're ready, guys, top of the mat, big toes touching, find your chair pose, sit back, lift your arms up, chair pose. Lift, sit down a bit lower, squeeze the, hand, the knees in, hands in front of your heart center. We're twisting towards the right side, so left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Maybe gazing up towards the sky. Have a quick look down. Your knees should be in a straight line. If you want to open your arms towards the sky, maybe gaze up. Feel free to do so. Hands back towards the center. Inhaling 
up center, exhaling, twisting towards the other side. Maybe gazing up. Open the arms. Back towards the center. And finding your full forward, releasing down. Hands behind your back as we inhale, lift up. As you exhale, release, and the hands are interlocked. Release the hands away from your back. One more breath in here. Release the hands onto the floor, half full lift. Plant your palm, move to your vinyasa. Ground your hands, step or jump back. Chaturanga. Upward dog. And downward dog. Take two deep breaths in here. As we exhale, we're going to find our way to our plank position. Moving to our second round of floor, rolling towards the outside of your right foot. Lift the left arm up towards the sky. Find your variation of plank. Either way. For one breath. Exhale, find your runner's lunge, so the left foot drop down onto the floor. Extend your spine with the inhale. Drop your knee down, untuck your toes, Ujjayini Asana. Lift up into your low lunge. Shoulders are back and relax. If you want here, you might want to tuck your toes. Lift up into your high lunge, in control, slowly. As you exhale, warrior two, open the hips. Open back foot is flat on the floor, 90 degree. Flip your front palm, reverse the wire. Exhale, cartwheel your hands in the inside of your foot. Both the hands in the inside of your left foot. Find your lizard pose. So the back knee is going to stay off the floor to start with. The hips are square. Take a few deep breaths in here. Perhaps maybe coming onto your forearm. Take one deep breath in here. Keep the back leg engaged. Still off the mat, if you can, the right knee. And then very slowly, we're going to drop the right knee down and tuck your toes and release here. Relax and let go. Feeling the stretch. Relax into your shoulders as well, feeling the stretch into your hips. And then slowly coming back onto your hands. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Bring the left leg back into your plank position. Now staying into our plank, from here we're going to go into our forearm plank. So drop into your forearms. Keep your elbows about shoulder width distance. The abs are engaged. Try to stay everything engaged and press your shoulders away from the mat. You can gaze towards your thumb if you want or between your forearm. One more breath. And then we're releasing the hips down, untuck your toes, find your sphinx pose. Press the top of the foot against the floor, roll the shoulders back, shoulders away from your ears, and breathe. Beautiful. One more breath. And from here, we're just going to find our release by opening our arms wide, releasing either the arms wide or on the side of your body or even above your head, whatever feels right for you, and re relax one side of your head onto the floor. Allowing our body to rela relax and let go. And from here, we're going to bring the hands back on the each side of our rib cage. We're going to press back into our plank. So tuck your toes. Take a deep breath in as you exhale. Press up into your plank and into your downward dog. We're going to go towards the other side, guys, now. So take one deep breath. And I'm just going to turn around to face you. And as you exhale, make your way to your plank. Roll towards the left side. Open the right arm up. Activating your core. Now if you want to grab your big toes or lift the leg up just for one breath. And then dropping that foot on the outside 
of your left hand, runner's lunge with the inhale. Drop the back knee down, untuck your toes, lift your hands up. Find your Ujjayini Asana, maybe opening your heart towards the sky. And then tuck your toes and lift your back knee off the mat. High lunge. One inhale. Warrior two with the breath out. Open your hips, one hand forward, one hand back. Flip the front palm, reverse of warrior. And as you exhale, cartwheel your hands down on each, on inside of your right foot. Square your hips, come onto your tippy toes with your back foot. Find your lizard lunge here. So you want to have the back knee again off the floor. Can you crunch down maybe onto your forearm or on a block? Or maybe just bending the elbows a bit to bring your chest down. Take one more breath here. Beautiful. And slowly dropping the knee down, untuck your toes and completely relax and surrender into that, that pose. Using the breath to allow yourself to release and let go. Doing great, guys. And coming back onto our hands. And then we're going to find our plank pose. So tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Back leg goes back into our plank pose. So front leg goes back. And then we find our forearm plank if we want again. If not, you can just relax onto your belly. If you're happy to a little bit more challenge here, just pressing the shoulders away from the mat. Me and take two more deep breaths in here. And slowly releasing onto the sphinx pose first. Tuck your, tuck your toes, open your chest. And then finally relaxing the chest all the way down. And the hands can go on each side of our body again, each, whichever variation you prefer. And close the eyes and breathe. All right, guys, so from here, we're going to bring the hands back onto the floor. We're finding another sphinx pose. Now, you can either stay here. If you had enough of challenge for your shoulders today, you are more than welcome to just stay here. Sphinx pose is quite active. We're trying to bring the, sh the shoulders and the elbows back towards the back, of our mat, so towards the back of our mat. So it's quite an active pose. We're activating the legs and pressing the top of our feet against the floor. So our knees should be kind of off the mat um, and trying to lift the, le the kneecaps. Now, if you want to challenge a bit the upper body, bring the elbows about shoulder width distance, tuck your toes and find your forearm plank. Now, we're going to have a little bit of a play here. So, we're going to stay here. Maybe start rocking forward and back slowly and just noticing the different sensation in your body, your core, your shoulders as you do so. Come back to center, roll towards the left side of your foot and find a sideway plank on the forearm and maybe bringing one arm up. If you want it more challenging, you're more than welcome to bring one leg up. And slowly back onto our forearm plank, we go towards the other side. And bring one arm up, maybe one leg up. And slowly down. Back onto our forearm, start tucking your toes, bring your feet close to you, find your dolphin pose, so keep your bum high, dolphin is kind of a downward dog with, on our forearms, hips are high, maybe bringing the right leg up, and down, and the left leg up, and down, slowly back into your forearm plank, and find your sphinx. And find your relaxing pose here. Open your arms wide and relax. Take a few deep breaths. Closing the eyes and just noticing how your shoulders feel. We've got one more round of exercise for the shoulders that... It is a bit challenging, so you're more than welcome to stay into your relaxing pose. If you want to go for our last round, bring your arms in back into your sphinx. Beautiful. Now from here, 
Make sure again that your elbows are not wider than your shoulders. Press the palms down, tuck your toes for arm plank. Keep your abs engaged. Maybe dolphin. Bring your tippy toes towards you, gazing towards the inside of your elbows. Can you lift one leg up? Now, if you want to hop through time, you can start hopping and just trying to in control, going up and down. Preparing for our forearm stand and the other side. If you have the forearm stand into your practice, you're more than welcome to do so. And back into our plank and onto our belly, spines, and all the way down. Take a deep breath in, relax. Bring your hands on each side of your body. We're gonna find a heart melting pose, a puppy pose. So press to bring your hips high, extend the arms towards the front, bring your shin onto the flip, chin onto the floor, or maybe forehead. And keep the hips high, and we're trying to open our heart towards the, towards the floor, which is why we call it the heart melting pose. We're trying to release every exhale, let go. And slowly from here, just find a quick child pose, walk the hands back, tuck your chin in, forehead on the floor, maybe the hands back this time. And we've done a lot of exercise, so we've worked on our shoulders a lot. So for the next few minutes, it's just going to be stretching and fun. First thing we're going to be doing, you're going back into our spines. So just bring your belly onto the floor, find your spines towards the front. Now actually you're going to stay here, we're going to straight away go onto our belly. Open your right arm 90 degree with our body onto the floor. So 90 degree on the elbows and then do the shoulders. We're going to roll towards the right side of our body. And then we're trying to bring the left foot behind us, side of the head onto the floor, and just stretching the, the uh, front of our pack of our shoulder, and breathe. And from here, we're gonna go towards the other side, so rolling onto the left side. Arm is 90 degree, maybe bring your right foot behind, closing the eyes and relaxing. And from here, coming back onto our belly. Finding a downward dog, so you might want to press or find a last one, vinyasa. So you might want to press into your upward dog. Downward dog. Bend your knees and step or jump through to sitting. And then lay down on your back, knees to chest. Maybe you're rocking from left to right. Maybe a little tuck of the chin, forehead to knees. Maybe if you want to find a quick happy baby here, maybe rocking left to right. And we're going to find our Shavasana from here. So extending the legs about mat wide onto the floor, hands on each side of your body, palms facing up, and closing the eyes and just staying here for the next few minutes and relaxing, trying to stay present and stay focused on your breath.
Slowly start bringing awareness back into your body, wiggling your fingers and your toes. Small wrist or ankle rotation. Maybe move your head left and right. Mm, bring your palms together and lock your fingers. Hands over your head, palms facing away from you. Stretch from the tip of your toes to the tips of your fingers and extend. And then roll on to the left side of your body, keeping the eyes closed. Mm, just for two deep breaths here. And then slowly make your way up to sitting. Back where we started, hands in front of our heart center. Gently bow your head down and invite gratitude into your day. And gratitude towards your body, your mind, and your spirit. Namaste. Thank you so much, guys, for joining in and tuning in. Um, it was lovely to have you. If you enjoyed that video, please uh, comment, like, or share. Or if you have any questions, please get in touch. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed the class, please subscribe and give me a little like, thumb up. Um, that will help me reach out to more people, people that might be into yoga, want to learn more, or just want to practice more often from home. So please, um, that'd be awesome support for, for me. Also, if you want to make sure you don't miss any of my future class, check in the description below. Uh, there will be a, um, a link where you can put your name and your email and you receive a little email every time I've got a new video on, which is at least once a week. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.